Yo, we got a pair of SBs in the Tiffany colorway that I'm gonna be restoring. It's crazy how I came across these shoes. You won't even believe it. Basically, with my GoPro and shovel, I was walking around the coast to see what's good. I started digging near the water and I knew it had to be a pair of Nikes. So while we're digging, be sure to follow my second channel. This channel is more straightforward without the cow well, intros. I'll post a link in the description. All right, now back to the video. After digging for a little bit, we found a gold mine. We found these shoes that are worth over $2,000. We're gonna take them home and see what the damage is. Now that we're back home, I feel like all we need to do is just replace the swooshes and deoxidize the rubber soles. We're gonna need to do a deep clean on the shoes to remove any nastiness, especially all of the mud. Luckily, the mud that's been clumped up is easier to remove. I just wanna know the person who would leave these beautiful Nike Diamond Dunks in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's totally absurd. So to thoroughly remove all of the mud, we're gonna place them in a tub of water. This is to loosen up any dirt that's on a shoe so we can do a thorough deep clean after we remove as much mud as we can. As I'm taking the mud off the soles, I notice how dirty and how yellow they are. The soles are pretty oxidized so I'm going to need to add in a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on the soles and to leave them out in the sun to reverse the yellowing. I don't know if you could see the current condition of the swooshes, but after it's been thoroughly cleaned, it's been damaged from just a scrubbing process. So we're gonna need to replace the swooshes as well. And what I'm using to clean up the insoles is an extractor. This is really gonna lift up any stains that's embedded in the fabric. To help me remove dirt off the laces, I'm using a water bottle with dish soap and water. For the upper, I'm using Just For Kicks Cleaner. He also provided me with brushes, so thank you again for that, brother. You can use any single cleaner you want. Just be sure to use the appropriate brush for the material that you're working on. What I mean by that is, you don't want to use a soft brush on the sole or leather because it's not going to clean anything. And you don't want to use a hard brush on nylon tongue. Now using a steamer is actually helpful when you're deep cleaning the shoes, especially with fabric because anything that's been trapped inside of the fabric, it can really break it down and just blast it away because it uses high pressure and high temperature. Since I am going to re-glue the soles, I want to make sure I do a proper job. So I want to separate the soles so I have easier access to remove the glue on the upper and on the soles. I want to give a shout out to Gifted Kicks for this method of removing the glue by using an X-Acto knife. You're basically skiving the material out, you're skiving the glue out. And Shoe Culture 615 gave me a little bit more in detail with his help, so thank you guys so much. This method is kind of high risk, high reward, because if you mess up, then you'll, you'll poke a hole through the shoes or damage the leather permanently. But if you do it properly, you get a nice clean bond with the midsole. I will finish it off with a Dremel tool to smooth it out. There won't be any gunk built up on the Dremel because I pretty much took out all of the, the glue already. I'm just trying to make my cuts more smooth and using a Dremel tool really helps the glue bond with the midsole since it does expose more of the natural fibers. Alright guys, the next step is to remove the messed up swoosh so I'm just using a seam ripper to carefully cut the thread and extract the swoosh I got these swooshes overnighted from China. It's very cheap. Only cost me two doubloons to get them overnighted. And now we're gonna use them to replace the swoosh that's messed up on our pair. There is this Velcro material that is stitched on the inside of the swoosh, so we're gonna remove we're gonna remove it by using an X-Acto knife. I'm 
I'm gonna put double sided tape on the uppers to help me place the swoosh so it doesn't move while I stitch it back on. I'm going to use my Dentai Thong machine to stitch back the swoosh on the uppers. These are pretty cheap on Amazon. They're like about 120, 125. So if you want to stitch material back on your shoes, this is a good start to, to do that. And I'm kidding. It's not called a Dentai Thong machine. It's called a Chinese Pasture Tool machine. It comes with a stand, but it's wobbly as hell. It's not stable at all. I recommend putting it on a table and screwing it down. That is what I'm doing right now, and it's honestly the best thing ever. So once I'm done stitching the swoosh, I'm going to stitch back the back tab. That is the Nike piece on the back. And I don't know if you guys saw a glimpse of how the soles look like before, but they're pretty oxidized. So we're going to put some homemade custom sole sauce solution that is not Sally's 40 volume. It's really homemade, aka food grade hydrogen peroxide, about 12% and a thickening agent like cornstarch or xanthan gum. So doing it this way will remove any unnecessary ingredients for your hair and not for your shoes. So it's just pure hydrogen peroxide and it won't remove any traction and none of that. There's a black thread that goes over the swoosh. Because we took out the chrome swoosh and replaced it, it's not there anymore. So we're going to replace it. This basically stitches on the sock liner to the upper. Now the next step is to glue the outsole to the upper. I'm going to apply a thin layer of glue on both the outsole and on the upper. Let it cure for 10 to 15 minutes. Reheat it with a heat gun or blow dryer and then bond them together. I'm using black rock leather conditioner. Not only will this make the black crocodile print pop more, but it's gonna recondition the leather, putting back the natural oils that we took out from deep cleaning the leather by submerging them in water. So the shoe on the left is untreated and the shoe on the right is the one that we applied the black rock leather conditioner. Now that the soles are glued up, it's time to restitch the whole sole using a sewing awl. This restoration wouldn't be complete without decreasing the toe box. This helps reshape the toe box, but it won't really remove all of the creases. It just makes it look better. Since we found these shoes in the wild, we don't know what kind of bacteria is still in these shoes even after deep cleaning them a thousand times thoroughly. So you know, this will help, this will also help it make it smell better. And that's pretty much it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. These shoes look almost brand new, I can't believe you found these shoes in the ground. That is crazy. Pretty sure I saved myself more than 150 bucks with this restoration. Alright y'all, see you guys in the next video.